Good day everyone, this is Sharif. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to connect your GNS3 to the internet. Also I'll be showing you how to uh, synchronize uh, your routers on an NTP server. Also I'll show you how to uh, advertise from your routers uh, using RIP routing information protocol uh, to advertise routes into the Windows routing table. So let's get going. First thing we're going to do is we're going to configure the cloud. And the cloud actually is a Windows loopback interface that we uh, use to connect to the router here. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to set the IP address of the loopback interface so that it can connect with the router here. And if you're really using Windows XP, uh, what, what happens is uh, if you're going to share uh, an adapter or uh, interface with Windows to the Internet, it will be netted in Windows so that it can be shared uh, to read the Internet. So what happens here, if you're using Windows XP, the netting or the net table of Windows XP well, uh, you'll have to use 192.168.0.1 and if you're using Windows 7, which I'm using right now, is 192.168.137.1 Actually, this is the 0 subnet and this is the 137 subnet. So, since I'm using Windows 7, I'll be using the 137 subnet and to configure the loopback interface, you, all you have to do is go to the network connections and get the properties of loopback interface IP version 4 here properties as you can see the IP address is 192.168.137.1 we're using the 137 subnet here and the subnet max is, uh, mask is 255.255.255.0 okay so the second thing is we have to share our uh, the interface that's connected to the internet. Uh, here I'm, uh, I'm using the, my uh, wireless card here. Uh, so to share it, all you have to do is right click on it, get properties, the sharing tab, and all you have to do is mark these boxes to allow other network users to use this computer internet connection. And you'll hit OK. So we'll go to uh, our GNS lab and we'll right click on uh, our cloud. We're going to right click on our cloud and C0 here, detecting the interfaces. And it has three interfaces one is the wireless here, the other the Bluetooth, and here's our target the MS loopback interface. So we're just going to add it, apply. It's okay. Then we're going to choose the link between the router and the cloud. I'm going to use the fast Ethernet. And we're going to start using, uh, actually, um, I mean, uh, start our lab. Okie dokie. Meanwhile, while it's loading, I'm going to get my uh, shell working here. So I'm going to start telnetting to uh, my router through Yes, I'm using port. Uh, I think it was 2000. Yeah, here it is. And the router is loading. No, thank you. And we are in. So the first thing we're gonna enable mode. Then we go to the configuration mode then to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 
and our IP address will be as we said before it's going to be 198 192 168.137.2 and our subnet mask is going to be 255 255 255 that all we're going to unshut this port Okay, so we're gonna verify it's working. We're gonna ping the loopback interface in Windows 168.137.1. Oh my god. Okay, ping 192.168.137.1, and it's not pinging. I wonder why it's not pinging. Okay, maybe it doesn't have the default route. Detected the network right now, so I'm gonna try pinging now. 192.168.137.1, and it's pinging. As you can see, five successful pings. So if uh, right now, if I'm trying to ping for the two, the two, which is a DNS server, it's free all over the internet. Okay it's not pinging. The reason why is I have to uh, establish a static route through uh, my router to the internet because actually it doesn't know anything except the network 192.168.137 so to do that I'm in the global configuration mode I'm gonna hit IP Okay. I'm in global configuration mode, IP route, all the networks to 192.168.137.1. Now let's try pinging for the 2 the 2. Excellent. So uh, this is pinging through the internet right now okay so if I try to uh, ping Google ping www.google.com Goog oh my god it ping Goog <laughs> okay I'm tr gonna try Google because actually I don't trust this Goog it's pinging Google so this is excellent. Um, so now you can see how we can connect our GNS to the internet. It's pretty easy. And uh, in the next part I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, synchronize your NTP servers uh, and with NTP servers. And I'm going to show you how to advertise your RIP network here in GNS to the rounding table of the Windows. Okay, see you in part two.